Yeah, that's right. I had to scoot it up close because I'm a terrible shot. Let's go and get started. All right, so we're trying out to do a new, different video style. Uh, just experimenting around, see what we can do. Uh, but for today's video, we are going to be shooting a pumpkin with a rifle I've had for a while, but new to the channel, and a mallet, a rubber mallet. We're going to see how it does up against a few calibers, and that's about it. Uh, first up, we have 22 long rifle and the Ruger Mark III. Also, I think it's going to be pretty difficult to see if I can actually hit it, or if I did hit it. I'm sure I hit it at least once. Let's go check it out. So, that was a hollow point that we were using. It looks like, of course, we have two entrance wounds there. And possibly one there, or maybe that's an exit. Don't know, but we're going to go ahead and step it up to a different caliber. What caliber do we have next? I don't remember what I brought. God dang it. First try. Oh my god. Definitely hit it first try. Awesome, we had a CCP07 and 9 mil. Good idea, but. Okay. So, went in there, just traveled, and came out and scored out the side. Alright. Try 1911. Alright, up next we had the Kimber Pro TLE2. This is my dad's 1911. It's not a bad 1911. Shoots nice. Just not, I love 1911. It's not Kimber. I said it. No offense, Kimber. Make good pistols. I skimmed it, but still is a hit. Hit it right there at the bottom. Uh, promise that's my first try. Like I said, people, practice. Honestly, I think the handle is more durable than that mallet is because that handle is still going strong. Alright, up next. Five seven. All right, so we have a five seven by twenty eight up next, and the newest addition to the family. I just got this like a month ago, um, and went into my local gun shop, saw it, and I was like, you know what? I think I need this in my life. I have a PS ninety. I've had that one for like almost two years, and uh, my dad has the five seven. Loved both of them to death, but I was like, you know what? I think I need this in my life. Uh, I'll be doing a further review on this later on in the future. Assuming I can be more consistent with my uploads. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and shoot it. Now, if I miss, it's not because I'm a bad shot. Well, I am, but it's also because this gun's not sighted in. And the glare's in my eyes. Uh, anyways, we're going to shoot the rubber mallet. Yeah, once I hit the handle, I saw I was hitting low left because I was aiming here originally. I was like, you know what? I'm hitting there. The same there. Yeah, at what was that like five, maybe five yards? I uh, can even hit it. Yeah. Next time, I promise, next time I bring this thing out, I'm going to have the optic side in. But, yeah, it went through. Alright, we have some Federal Free and PowerShot slugs. And the Mossberg 930. I'm not shooting the mallet. 
I only have two shows. Uh, hopefully I hit this one and I hit the second one. Uh, you'll see what the second one's gonna be. Also, this is probably the most fun I've had in a video in a long time. So if you're enjoying it, make sure you give that like button a thumbs up. Go uh, try it. See, that's more like it. <laughs> Noodles and ramen in there, anybody? Let's go ahead and try something else. So we have a 308 Smurf round going up against the mallet. Uh, I wanted to shoot this with my uh, my dad's AR, and still kind of want to, but I also at the same time I really don't want to. So I'm gonna do this. Hopefully that was more solid hit. Yeah, hit right there, right there. Didn't do anything. I have one more thing I want to do. Can be good. A lot of these videos, I'm not gonna lie. I want to go back and revisit at a further time whenever. A, we have more time, and B, we have more ammo, because I have a lot of ideas with this stuff, and very limited, because we are very limited on time, so, alright, let's go and do it. Also, should have mentioned that was a PMC bronze. Let's see. Just skim the side, but I already knew it was gonna exit anyways. I just kind of wanted to shoot it anyways. But anyways, that is everything for the video. Um, try to think anything I gotta say. Well one thing I should say is that table actually holding up pretty good. Uh, hope you like what we did here. I mean it worked pretty effectively in this video. Also this is the aftermath from the pumpkin as you can see. Some kind of got everywhere even over there up underneath that trailer. Um, and some even went all the way over here. Some pretty impressive stuff. Uh, anyways, uh, that's everything for the video. Y'all make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Y'all have a good one. Stay safe out there.